From the sound of hurried feet scurrying down concrete floored hallways to the last minute run throughs of your competition piece, the one thing that will never fade from my mind was the smell that filled the space. Hairspray. At every dance competition, nerves are high. The tension and anticipation that fills the air is so thick you could cut it with a butter knife, but nowhere near as thick as the stench of hairspray coming in from all directions. Even after you have your costume on, your ballet shoes laced up, your hair done and makeup painted on, and you've run through your piece what feels like a million times, you're still not ready to perform. I can recall my mother spraying my hair down with a giant blue bottle of Aquanet hairspray at least five times before I ever stepped foot on stage, making sure every last stray hair was set in place. This act, though subtle and necessary, was one so intimate to me. Look good, feel good. Her attention to detail to something so small as a stray hair was something that meant a great deal to me. Even if I missed a step or fell out of my turns, at least my hair would look perfect. Your appearance is just as vital to your performance as your actual dance is. It's part of your identity as a performer. If you have any loose hairs hanging out of your ballet bun, you might be seen as unkempt, lazy, or disorganized, which most dancers would consider a sin. Once I was backstage, I patiently but anxiously waited for the announcer to call my name. As the girl dancing before me took her bow, my dance teacher sprayed my hair down one last time. Suddenly, the nerves and anticipation turned into excitement. I had done everything I could to prepare for this moment, and the familiar, somehow comforting scent of hairspray seemed to melt all my nerves away as I finally made my grand entrance to the stage.